Hello there guys, uh, this is Bogus Lake. I am doing a video which I don't normally do. Um, this is about a current issue I'm facing with Skype. Many people are getting um, issues with um, the actual compatibility issue on Windows. Now I'm running Windows 8 as you can probably see right here. If you would want to, um, if you want to run Skype on Windows 8 in the compatibility view, that means the software will work, but it'll work under the settings of an old version of Windows. So we're just going to get Skype. No, no, no. Right, you just want to click search if you're in Windows 8 on your um, on your sidebar. Right, so Skype for desktop. Right click on the icon Skype for desktop. Never ever download the Windows 8 app version because it is a pile of shite. Um, open in folder. Right, as you can see here you've got your view. Now what we need to do is we need to right click on that, go right in the way down to properties, click compatibility here, right and you'll see these two options. You do not want to fiddle about with the settings in the middle. This is the type of stuff that will make it go weird. Right, so you want to go down this uh, compatibility mode. Usually it'll be like this. So these two will be unselected. Right, but I've already done this. So we select this one first. Right, and you pick one from the list. Usually it's either Windows 7, Windows Vista Service Pack 2, or Windows XP Service Pack 3. Do not choose anything else. If you're unsure which one to choose, click run compatibility troubleshooter and it'll select one for you okay and now we want to run as administrator that needs to be set as default we need it to get permission from windows so click apply click ok now next time you start i'm not going to run skype because um it's got all my contacts in it uh but click on the icon right let it run and it will ask you to accept click yes then after that it should run as normal if you run into any problems go into your web browser uh, go into iobit.com right now you want to go scroll down and you want to either download system care 7 free run it fix everything if you download a piece of software, I am not responsible for what you do with the software. If you break your own computer, that is your own problem. I don't want you to break your own computer, so l watch and read everything that it says in it. Okay, and then once you've finished doing that, I want you to download this. What this does is this updates all your drivers so they're all full and they're all ready to go. It's all free you never have to pay a penny if you want to constantly update your drivers automatically in the background you have to pay for the more expensive version uh, but you don't need to do that you can do that every few weeks if you wanted to especially if it's just a home pc okay so you download that and you get this this is a driver booster right accept and install no Bollocks. right i just clicked something wrong there <laughs> you want to decline that one not agree uh, because that installs a toolbar I don't want a toolbar because that's pants okay now ignore that now how it works is this is system care down here okay let me just try and open it up 
this is going to be a quick tutorial it's not going to be an extensive you know five hour thing if you have the Windows 8 app thing um, but you can't get the normal version to work and you've tried all this run a quick virus scan with your antivirus I would suggest something like Avast antivirus or um, Malwarebytes antivirus something like that now this is your piece of kit right this is advanced system care oh god oh well that works already um, this is a driver booster as well uh, these are the two that I would recommend to anyone out there um, this solves many problems I'm not going to do a scan because I'm not going to depress myself um, but you got all the different bits and pieces look at all this kit this is all free go away for goodness sake this is all free and it will all fix itself right all you do need to do is click and then do a scan if you're doing gameplays this is the perfect piece of kit it shuts down all what you don't need and keeps the game running uh, turbo boost does pretty much the same thing and also uh, you've got the different bits and pieces here I wouldn't have iobits malware fighter because it is a strain on your computer real big strain and also the start menu 8 is pants as well um, if you have a mobile phone by all means use the mobile version of Skype because you have no choice uh, but if you if you can't get Skype to work on your phone use OVO. Uh, OVO is free it's just like Skype it there is no difference the only difference is um, that the panels look different and it's a different way of calling that's about it it's all free um, this one right it doesn't really matter if you know my bits and pieces on my computer really um, but yeah this updates all your drivers right it lists them all in a massive row I've got many of them but it mentions all the ones that are out of date if you do not update your drivers your computer is pants and your computer will continue to be pants until you update it so just keep it keep it going um, apart from that the compatibility view that's it that's all you can do the rest is basics um, I would suggest a technique where you press control alt delete right click view at the top of task manager update speed and then select high once it's selected high it's perfect it's fine and dandy and that speed up your computer a bit um, this has been bogus leak I hope this bit of information has helped you guys um, and I've faced problems with Skype these past few days so I thought I'd just share it with you um, but this has been bogus leak game on <laughs>